Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Min and today I want to talk about five high paying careers you can get without going to college. Now college isn't for everyone and if you're older you probably don't want to go back to college and waste a bunch of time going to school. You probably want to find a decent job that pays a decent wage so I'm going to get right into them. Now the first job that I have is you can actually become a software engineer and I know a lot of people think that you need to get a degree for this but I'll be honest with you there are a lot of software engineers out there that probably don't have a bachelor's degree. Now me personally I've hired a lot of engineers in the past and a lot of them just came from boot camps or online courses and they become really good engineers after a couple years. All you really need for this is a computer and a knack for problem solving. In one of my other videos I talk about how I learned to code in Python and JavaScript using a YouTube channel called The New Boston. And you may have noticed that there are a lot of ex-engineers that are going out and creating their own YouTube channels to kind of teach people how to program. The coursework that you learn in college isn't really applicable anymore in the real world because a lot of that stuff gets outdated so fast that the professors can't keep up. Most of the professors don't even know what the latest tech is. So in my opinion, it's almost not even worth it to go to college to get your computer science degree unless you're already there doing it. To land a job as a software engineer, all you really need to do is learn a coding language and then pass an interview test to show that you can actually code. Now you don't need to aim very high and work for the biggest tech companies out there. You can work for smaller companies that may not have high standards and you can land a job as a software engineer there. All you really need is to know one or two languages really well so that way when you apply for the job you can use that language in your interview test. Now software engineers can make anywhere from $70,000 to $150,000. It really depends on how good you are and where you live and what company you work for. Now the next career I have all bundled together and these are skilled trades. And these skilled trades you actually need to function in society. So these jobs have been shunned in the past and I'm not really sure why but maybe it's to promote kids to go to college. But these skilled trades are actually very important for us. So I'm talking about landscapers, plumbers, welders, electricians, handymen, carpenters. These are all skilled trades that are needed every day. So I'll give you a couple of examples. You can become a plumber. Plumbers are always gonna be needed. Somebody's gonna to need to fix their faucet, fix their toilet. Maybe a main water line is busted. You're gonna to need to call someone to come fix that. Another example is a mechanic. You know, we need people to fix our cars. Not everybody's gonna have the time or knowledge to fix cars, so you're always gonna need a mechanic to kind of look over your car. Another example are welders. Welders are needed to build buildings, bridges, and dams and even cool custom off-road bumpers. Now, if I were to choose a trade, I'd probably pick an electrician. It seems like the electricians are becoming more needed because of all the solar panels that are being put on or people are getting Teslas and they need electric chargers. Even me, myself, I need an electrician to put something in my garage. So you can see these trades are pretty important to society. Now, another option is if you don't want to specialize, you actually can become a handyman and you can have a little bit of everything. You can actually go out and do small jobs as long as it's under $500. You don't actually have to have a license and you can pick up little repairs here and there. You can fix a light fixture, you can fix a faucet, you can do a roof repair and you can make a pretty decent wage doing this as well. The great thing about these jobs is they don't require any kind of college education. You usually only need to do a certificate or some small training or maybe do an apprenticeship and you usually learn everything on the job. These careers pay anywhere from $16 an hour all the way up to $40 an hour, which equates to about $83,200 a year. It really just depends on how good you are and how much you wanna work, and you can easily make over six figures if you're dedicated enough. And the nice thing about these trades is they will never become obsolete. The next career I have for you guys is to become a police officer. So you don't actually need a college degree, but if you do have a college degree, you actually can make a little bit more. Now this career is a great duty to your city and a lot of people are starting to respect law enforcement, but the job can be difficult and dangerous. It definitely isn't for everyone and it does require a lot of hours and you may not see your family a lot because you're working all the time. There's also a chance you may not return home because the job is very dangerous. But if this is something that you're willing to do, the payoff is actually pretty good. A lot of my neighbors are police officers and I know they make over six figures because a lot of their wives stay home and the homes in this area are pretty expensive. The career also offers great benefits and also a pension plan so you have your retirement covered as well. You can actually look up all of the salaries for your city because this is public information and you can see on my screen here that most police officers make anywhere from $50,000 to well over $100,000 a year. The next career I have for you is you can become a male postal worker. The delivery world has grown a lot in the last 5-10 to 10 years. I remember a time where people were afraid to buy things online but nowadays everybody's buying everything online, which ultimately means that postal workers are in high demand. The job does require that you can lift about 40 to 50 pounds of weight, and the hours can be pretty long because usually companies are understaffed because they have too many packages to deliver. Whether you do Amazon Flex, work for the USPS, or FedEx or UPS, you can make anywhere from $15 an hour to up to $30 an hour, which equates to about $62,000 a year. 
If you want to take it up a notch, you can actually become a truck driver for one of these companies. And these truck drivers are the people that are driving those big semis that are taking packages from one location to the next. You do need a license to drive these trucks, but these truck drivers make on average $74,000 a year. The next career you can do is you can become a real estate agent. The real estate agent is typically used when someone is buying or selling a home, but a real estate agent can actually manage rental properties as well. In California, to become a real estate agent, you have to take a real estate education course and pass an exam. The course costs $141 and it takes approximately three months to complete. And then the examination and license fee is $305 with the state of California. After you get your license, you need to go find a broker that you can work for. That way you can learn the ropes and figure out how to sell your first house. A real estate agent makes all of their money through commission, so keep in mind that you may not make a lot of money in the beginning as you're starting out. In the three months while you're taking your education, you'll be making no money, so just keep that in mind. The real estate agent makes most of their money through commissions. Each time a home is sold, a commission of five to 6% is paid out. Half of this commission goes to the selling real estate agent and the other half goes to the buyer's real estate agent. Furthermore, if you're working for a brokerage, the brokerage will take a small percentage of that half as well. It's estimated that you can make anywhere from 40 to $60,000 in your first year, depending on how well you do. And as your client base grows and your name gets out there, you can make well over six figures being a real estate agent. Now I have a bonus one for you guys and this one I'm doing myself personally and that is becoming a YouTuber. Now to become a YouTuber, you actually have to have some skill and something to talk about because if people don't find value in your videos, then there's really no point in creating a channel. To start a YouTube channel, all you need is a camera, a computer, and some editing software. Now YouTube isn't for the faint of heart, it is a lot of work and you do have to have a lot of skill. I started YouTube back in 2018 and I started this channel in early 2020. And I can tell you that YouTubers spend countless hours researching new ideas, scripting content, filming content, and even editing content. Now the great thing about YouTube is you decide how much work you want to do. If you want to post one video a week, then by all means. If you want to post one video every day, well that's going to be a lot of work and just know that it's going to be a full-time job. There's really nobody telling you what to do and you decide what your channel becomes. I know some YouTubers that upload once a day and they make a ton of money doing it. And I know YouTubers that upload once a month and they make a lot of money as well. Now there is a problem with being a YouTuber and that is the fact that you can make zero money in the first six months of starting your channel. And you may not make any money at all. So just make sure you have a backup plan just in case things don't work out. Now I do have another channel like I mentioned earlier and that channel makes me about 100 to 200 dollars a month. I only have about 1100 subscribers on there and I really only uploaded videos like once a week. I was doing this as a side hustle while working my nine to five and I wanted to see if I can actually make money on YouTube. Now I've seen channels making $50,000 a year, $100,000 a year, $300,000 a year, and even a million dollars a year. So you can see YouTube has a lot of potential and it really depends on how much time you want to put into it and how likable you are and how favorable you are to the YouTube algorithm. So if you have great talking skills and great content to share, you can capitalize on some of that and maybe make a decent living off of it. So you can see there, there are many jobs out there that don't require a college degree to make a decent wage. I only scratched the surface, but these are from my own personal experience from people that I know. If you know of other high paying jobs that don't require a college degree, let me know in the comments below. Now one thing about all these careers is they do require time and some training. Fortunately though, a lot of these careers offer on the job training. I know many people that are doing these careers and they're making a decent wage here in California. So go out there and figure out what you wanna do and start doing it now. I imagine any of these careers, after one to three years, you'll become very competent in that field and you'll secure that career for the rest of your life. So the sooner you start, the sooner you can start working. Now I did make another video about five college degrees I would major in if I were to go back to college today. So be sure to check out that video if you're interested in going back to college. All right, you guys, hopefully that video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with one of your friends. And if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're aware when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a nice day.